Hello Jammers! Today we're looking at using Dolly 3 and ChatGPT to make some t-shirts to sell. We're gonna look at some prompting, upscaling, retouching, and mocking up some designs. Without further ado, let's start designing. The first thing we're gonna do is head into ChatGPT. And before we start prompting and generating designs, we need to set some custom instructions for our prompts. We can do that by hitting the three dots in the bottom left over here and clicking custom instructions. Now, if you aren't aware of this, custom instructions are things for ChatGPT to keep in mind in every response going forward. These really help when you're trying to keep generations consistent like what we're trying to do here today. For example, I've included some rules to follow for our image generations, including how we want the designs to be fully visible within the image and there's no clipping with the borders and that they have a solid background so that we can extract them later on. And also that they should have cohesive color schemes, which make them easier to print later on if we're doing screen printing. Once that's done, we can hit save and exit out of this. Now, in order to start generating images, we need to make sure GPT-4 is selected as well as the Dolly 3 plugin over here. This allows us to generate images within ChatGPT. Now, when it comes to actual prompting, the sky's the limit as far as what you include in your prompts. Recently, I've been really interested in the Gothic art style. So let's type in Gothic art style. And we'll include a couple elements such as skulls, roses, and plants. Let's hit enter and see what that gets us. After waiting for some time, here are the four generated images. I think all of these look cool. Probably this one and this one would be the best for our t-shirts. So let's download these and put them off to the side. I'm gonna do one more design with tattoo aesthetic, tigers and roses again. Let's see what that gives us. Here we have four more designs. Looks like it actually mocked up one of them, which is not what we're looking for here. But luckily these other ones are all looking pretty good. I think we can use all of these for our t-shirts. And just as a heads up, whatever prompt it used to generate each specific image will show up here on the right side. So this takes into account the prompt we typed in as well as the custom instructions we put in ahead of time. So if you wanted to get more generations for this style of image, you can take this prompt, paste it in, and try it again. Now we can head into Photoshop to upscale all of our images. Now that we're in Photoshop and before we touch up our final designs, we still need to upscale them. I already created a Photoshop script that does that for you and you can find the link in the description where you can download these scripts for free. Once you have the file downloaded and set up, you want to go to File, Scripts, and image processor. Over here, you wanna make sure you select the folder that has all the downloaded Dolly 3 images, the ones we just generated. And over here, you're gonna select the folder where you want the final upscaled images to go. After that, you wanna make sure your upscale action is selected here, and then upscale square option is selected over here since our Dolly 3 images are square. Once all of that's done, you just hit run and it will upscale all of our downloaded images. If you take a look at your new folder now, you'll see that the three images are now upscaled and are in a higher resolution than the ones we got out of Dolly 3. This makes it easier to play around with in Photoshop to touch up and then finally mock up.
Now I'm going to go through my process of how I get this image ready to be mocked up and then I will run through the rest of the images we have downloaded quickly. First up I have my layer here selected, I will unlock it and then hit remove background. It will create a layer mask with the background removed, however sometimes it can miss some things. In this case I want to remove these little objects here. I'm selecting the layer mask, I have my brush tool on and then I'm on the black color for my brush. I'll just mask this guy out so that it looks a little cleaner. I'll do the same for this area here. Once that's done, I will right click the layer and convert this into a smart object. And that makes it ready to mock up. Okay, now on to the fun stuff, mocking up our designs. I have this PSD mockup file up. I will include a link to this in the description. It is available for download for free. And the first thing we want to do when we're in this file is go down to the t-shirt group, expand it, and then double click into the design smart object thumbnail here. Once we're in here, we can go to our design file, which I have over here, and I will copy it and paste it into this layer. I'll make sure to resize this so it's centered and completely visible on the canvas. And then I also want to recolor the background. So I will delete the existing color fill layer here. And then I will create a new fill layer, solid color. Make sure this is behind the existing layer. And then I want it to be this grayish blue color. Once that's done, we can hit save and we can go back to our t-shirt file. There you go. There's our mocked up tiger on the t-shirt, ready to go. I'll do the same thing for the other designs and we can take a look at the final product after. And there you have it. Here are our three t-shirts all mocked up and ready to upload onto your favorite print on demand website. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments below how you've been using Dolly 3 to create t-shirt designs. It's been Jam Design, and I'll see you in the next one.